All right, guys, here's a quick rundown on how to replace your headlight switch on the Dodge Ram. Uh, this particular year is the second gen 98. Um, so first things first is you got to get this faceplate off the dash. Uh, it's held in all with uh, pins all the way around, except for right in here. You're going to find one screw. Other than that, the whole thing just pops out and then you just lift it up out of here. Um, and then you'll have the cigarette lighter connector right there. You can unplug it from there. Get that guy out of the way. Um, then your headlight switch is going to have three screws holding it on here. You'll take those three out and then it's got an additional two here that's holding this faceplate on. Um, so you can then take that faceplate off from the back here. Uh, and then uh, there's actually a spring-loaded button on the bottom of the switch here. That enables you to take this handle all the way out. Um, so typically you, it's just got the two stages, one for parking, one for headlight. Uh, but you pull it all the way out and then you hold down uh, this uh, spring knob here and then it's going to let you pull that uh, lever all the way out. Um, and then from there uh, you're going to get a pair of pliers. This guy in here that my finger's touching that's going to screw counterclockwise um, and then it's going to pull out of there and then this backing plate's going to come off um, and then you'll swap the uh, the new switch on there the biggest pain is getting this plug undone it's got one uh, clip on this side and one on the back on this side and they're kind of a pain to grab at the same time and pull off um, i used a couple flathead screwdrivers and was able to wiggle it off finally um, but uh, yeah, the reason I was replacing mine was my headlights were working, or they weren't working on low beam. Um, and then the only time they would work on high beam is if I was holding the holding the lever back here. So I thought it was the multi-function switch, and I went to uh, Reeves and actually grabbed one and just plugged it in real quick since I had this all apart, and it made no difference with that out. Um, but uh, looking at this guy, after you pull that plug off there, um, I saw I had a there was a melted section there and part of the uh, plastic from the plug actually melted on there. Um, and then it's got uh, H back there. I'm guessing that's for high beam. I don't know for sure. Um, but that was not allowing me to keep the high beams on um, without uh, uh, without holding that lever when usually it just clicks. And then the low beams weren't working at all. But uh, got the new switch in there. Um, that turned out to be the issue with my uh, low beams not working and the high beams not working properly um, and then uh, yeah just reverse uh, installation got that back in there but uh, yeah also taking this piece off you got access to the instrument cluster so you can always pull this guy out if you're needing to do work on that